Power series is cool because we can use power series to calculate this limit. We have the limit as x goes to 0, x minus ln of 1 plus x, or over x to the second power. So here's the deal. We are not going to use Laputal's rule. We will use the power series only. We see that we have the x here and the x squared here. But then the ln of 1 plus x in this case is a more complicated function. However, we do have the power series expansion for the ln of 1 plus x. Especially because when x is approaching to 0, we'll use the power series expansion for ln of 1 plus x when the center is 0. I'm just going to tell you guys what the answer is in this case. You can check my other video on how we got that answer. Okay? So here, this is the limit as x goes to 0. And then on the top, we have this x stays the same. And let me put down the minus. And let me open a parenthesis. For ln of 1 plus x, here is the power series for that when the center is 0. Because x is approaching 0, so that's what we have to do that. All right, we will get x and then minus x squared over 2. It's alternating. We have the positive, negative, and positive, negative, and so on. You will see all the powers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then on the denominator, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as well. There's no factorial in the denominator. Anyways, you have the next one is plus x to the third power over 3. No factorial. Minus is alternating, okay? x to the 4 over 4 and then so on. So I put down the plus dot dot dot. Technically, I'm not sure how many terms I need, but let me just put down a few of them. Four should be enough. And then we have the x squared in the denominator right here. The good thing right here is, after we change the ln of 1 plus x into its power series, this is just like a polynomial on the top. We can compile terms, isn't it? So I would like to show you if we distribute this negative sign into the parentheses. So let's do that carefully. We have negative x and then positive x squared over 2 and then negative x to the third power over 3 and then positive x to the 4 over 4 and then the next one is going to be minus and so on. All right. This x and that minus x cancel each other out get rid of them, right? And what do we have next? This is still the limit as x goes to 0. Can we do anything more? Yes, we sure can, right? Because right here, we have x to the second power over 2. And then this is divided by this x squared. So this x squared and that x squared will cancel each other out. We will have positive 1 half to begin with. Next one, we have this, and then divided by x to the second power, x to the third, divided by x to the second power, we have x to the first. And that's a minus. We have x to the first power over 3. And then the next one is going to be plus x to the four, divided by x to the second. So we have x to the second over 4, and then so on. Right? All right. So inside of this parentheses, we have 1 half and then minus plus whatever. But then all this right here, they all have x, isn't it? So when we have x is approaching to 0, once we plug in 0 into all these terms here, all of this will become 0, right? So the final answer is just going to be 1 over 2 plus 0, but we don't need to write it down. This is the answer. This is it. That's it.